Royal Wedding of the Year, How a Saudi Architect Became a Jordanian Princess. Join us on a captivating journey as we delve into the enchanting love story and remarkable transformation of Aza al Suderi, from a Saudi architect to the future Queen Rajwa of Jordan. Discover her passions, her journey, and the eagerly anticipated royal wedding that will unite nations and capture hearts. Stay tuned for this extraordinary tale of love and royalty. Khalid al Saif and Aza al Sudairi al Saif's parents were in Riyadh on April 28, 1994, when she was born. Of the three Danas and Faisals, she is the youngest. According to Al Arabiya, her family comes from the Sudair province in Saudi Arabia, a historical area in Najid with a rich history extending back to pre Islamic times. The bride to be completed her high school education in Saudi Arabia before attending Syracuse University in New York to earn her bachelor's degree in architecture. She is also a graduate of the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising with a degree in Visual Communication. Al Saif is a native speaker of Arabic, English, and French. According to Al Arabiya, she enjoys horseback, riding, painting, design, and digital media. When she marries Prince Al Hussein, she will be known as the Princess of Jordan. And when her husband ascends to the throne as king, she will be known as Queen Rajwa. In August 2022, the pair announced their engagement. To mark the event, Jordan's King Abdullah II and Queen Rania attended a private ceremony at her family's residence in Riyadh. The Crown Prince disclosed in April that he met his future wife through a classmate. Her other hobby outside design is riding horses. Her fiancé posted a black-and-white photograph of Al Saif riding a horse on Instagram on the day she turned 28. When she marries Prince Al Hussein, she will be known as the Princess of Jordan. And when her husband ascends to the throne as king, she will be known as Queen Rajwa. The eagerly anticipated nuptials will take place in Zaran Palace in Jordan's capital city of Amman, according to a statement from the Royal Hashemite Court. After that, the wedding processions would go to Al Husseinia Palace. King Abdullah II married Queen Rania in the palace, which was erected in 1957 in 1993. The Jordanian king and queen departed Zahran Palace in a convertible car to participate in a procession through the streets of Amman, where they were met by enthusiastic crowds. The couple will commemorate three decades of marriage on June 10th. At the Jordanian royal wedding, world leaders, Jordanian community leaders, well-known citizens, family members, friends and celebrities are anticipated to gather to celebrate the bride and groom. Princess Hisakoa and Princess Tsuguko of Japan Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel of Sweden, and Crown Prince Hakan of Norway will all be among the royal visitors and dignitaries that the couple will host. The names of the dignitaries from Arab nations who will attend have not been revealed in any additional detail. On May 29th, a star-studded lineup of musical acts will take place at the Amman International Stadium in the country's capital as part of the Jordanian royal wedding festivities. There will likely be performances by the Jordanian vocalists Diana Karazan and Zayn Awad, the Lebanese singer Ragheb Alama, and the Egyptian singers Tamer Hosni and Ahmad Saad. For those who have tickets, the event is free. On June 1st, the Ministry of Culture will host several events, including fireworks displays and traditional performances. On the wedding day, events will begin at 5 p.m. in all Jordanian governorates. More details about official government records will be released. The Raghadan Palace will host a special supper on May 31st for various Jordanian and Arab visitors. King Abdullah lived in the palace, which is frequently used to hold ceremonial occasions, including meetings with foreign heads of state. Guests were sent a special invitation that featured the royal Hashemite crown emblem and the names of Prince Al Hussein and Al Saif. One of the terms on the invitation is a dress restriction that only permits national or traditional attire and forbids bringing cell phones. Poetry and traditional Jordanian dances were performed to celebrate the occasion. In her speech, Queen Rania also praised her son Prince Al Hussein and the newest member of their family. In conclusion, the royal wedding of Aza Al Sudairi and Prince Al Hussein promises to be a momentous event, bringing together not only two hearts, but also two nations. Their love story, 
rich in cultural diversity, serves as a testament to the power of love transcending boundaries. Subscribe now to stay informed and be part of the enchanting journey that will captivate the world.